Your credit rate may have skyrocketed overnight. We have the details on this story and more news next on Get the Daily. Hello and welcome to GetTheDaily.com. I'm Dana Ward with the latest news updates. The New York governor announced Wednesday the new plan tax cuts and additions in order to cut down the current $15.4 billion budget gap down $1 million. Some of the increased taxes are on iTunes downloads, non-diet sodas, alcohol, cable and taxi fares. Governor David Patterson also said he plans to cut school aid by almost $700 million and reduce $3.5 million in health care. And Bill Clinton released on Thursday a list of his donors from his foundation. The former president did this in order to help the transition for his wife Hillary Clinton to become Secretary of State. The two largest donations came from UnitAid, an international organization that purchases prescription drugs to aid sick children, and from the Children's Investment Fund Foundation, both giving more than $25 million each. Some other high rollers on the list include the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and real estate friend Stephen Bing, each donating between $10 million and $25 million. The entire list can be viewed at clintonfoundation.org backslash contributors. And a recent trend shows many credit card companies skyrocketing their rates about two times over. Many customers, some with quote-unquote good credit, are linking the rate spike to Citigroup because it reportedly issues so many credit cards and it notified customers about the rate jack as it was receiving a $20 billion taxpayer-financed bailout. Citigroup fired back a statement saying, quote, to continue funding in this difficult credit and funding environment, City is repricing a group of customers. Because this type of business is legal, at least according to the fine print, the Federal Reserve plans to vote Thursday on its own rules related to credit rate jacking. However, any votes would not be in effect until 2010. Thanks for watching the news edition of Get the Daily. I'm Dana Ward. We'll see you right here at GetTheDaily.com next time for more news updates.